Good morning once again! I always find myself doing these things in the morning, but I gotta tell ya, I love playing an entire thief mission every day. It's so much more invigorating than having to break it up into a dozen parts like I did on my old computer with all the old versions of the software. Anyway, today's mission is Assassins. If you want to check out the briefing, you can see it on the playlist. But here are our objectives, although I note they will be changing very quickly. Now that you've got the finest in lockpicks, you can go after more challenging and lucrative targets. How about the local hammer temple? Get at least a thousand loot. A true professional doesn't leave a mess. Don't kill anyone. Although that's not really the mission we're going to be doing, the mission we do end up following, I have some good news. It is possible to perfect Supreme Ghost the mission, same way we did Lord Bafford's Manor. Let's get to work. As always, no purchases. Here we are in Farkas's shop. I'll go ahead and save. First things first, let's read our new lockpicking instructions. Lockpick instruction manual. To use a lockpick, use and hold it on a locked door for a few seconds. The handle of the door will move slowly to the open position and you'll hear a continuous clicking until the handle turns and the door pops open. If you hear only a single short click, try using the other lockpick. If the handle jiggles but ends up only moving part of the way, you'll need to switch lockpicks and continue picking the door. You may need to switch picks more than once. If neither lockpick works, it means that the lock cannot be picked and it's time to go find the key. Note that you must be quite close to a door to pick it, closer than you need to be to open it normally. Now let's peek at our map. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a map of the city and its different districts. We see the patterns the streets go through. We see a nice river here. Looks like we're in the New Market District. Over to the west we have High Town. To the northeast is the Old Quarter. East is Downtown. And finally at the southeast corner of the city is our home turf. That's all we have here. Now as soon as we take a step, the mission will start for real. Before it does, let me just say that there's a lot of equipment in Farkas's shop. We don't need it. You can pick it up if you're not playing crazy rules like I am. Let's take a step. Off the... That shot was meant for me. Yes, I'm sure it was Garrett in the window. He's dead. Let's head back now. These creeps are gonna lead me right back to whoever sent them to kill me. But only if I can tail them without them noticing me. So, we'll look at our new objectives right quick. Loot the Hammer Temple for at least a thousand is cancelled. We now must trail the thugs who just tried to assassinate us without being detected and not kill anyone. Now for this part, it's really pretty straightforward. You just have to follow far enough behind the guys not to get spotted. They choose a random route through the city to their final destination every time. So I don't know what they're going to do, which is kind of exciting. But it's possible to get by, get all the way to where they're going without triggering a single first alert, without breaking any Supreme Ghost rules. So, let's get to it. That door was open when we found it, by the way. That's why we're leaving it that way. This mission has a really good ambient soundtrack. Sounds very tense, I like it. Someone asked me if I'm going to finish the Thief 3 playthrough. The answer's sort of. I'm gonna do a new one, and I'm gonna follow the ghost rules while I do it. I hate to abandon anything. It's really kind of devastating that I didn't get to finish it, but when my computer crashed and I had to reformat, I lost the saves. So, I really didn't have a choice. I would have had to redo it anyway. I want to do proper ghosting for all three games, hence, starting here. But rest assured, if you were following that Thief 3 playthrough, I will play through Thief 3. Just, not now, I want to do the first two first. So far, so good. Oh, I don't like this. Just the wind, I guess. Oh, fudge. Come 
good. Which way did they go? I think they went up here. Yes. Whew, it would have been bad to have to restart that fast. Supreme means no first alerts. Don't forget it. AI can't react to our presence at all. They took the shortest possible way this time. That's pretty miraculous. That usually doesn't happen. You know, a long time ago on her website, which I don't think has been updated in ages, although she's got a YouTube channel now, Lytha conducted a survey to see what everyone's favorite thief mission was, and Assassins came out overwhelmingly on top. I don't understand that. It's one of my least favorites. It's fun and all, but it's just so simple and straightforward. I don't know. I like the sword. I like Return to the Cathedral, too. So, these are Ramirez's boys. I think it's time I dealt with Mr. Ramirez once and for all. Alright, we can make a real save. We've gotten here with no alerts. Now let's examine our new objectives. Time to show Ramirez who the real criminal mastermind is. Break into his mansion and take what he values most, his wealth. The purse from his belt should make the point. Loot the mansion for valuables, you need at least 2,000 worth. Locate his prized silver fire poker, it's worth quite a bit. Get out of the mansion, don't kill anyone. And now, we have an updated map. We can see a little bit of Ramirez's mansion. Obviously, it's not very detailed. But here we have the first floor, gatehouse and main entrance, guards, no duh. We see the, sort of the shape of the mansion. We see that it's two stories plus a basement, but apart from the shape of the mansion, we really don't know anything about its interior layout. Anyway, let's get going. One thing to note, now that we have lockpicks, it's easy to pick open a lot of doors. Frequently, there are some doors that we can pick open that don't have a key to relock them. The Supreme Ghost rules say that we don't have to relock those doors, but we do have to relock any door for which there is a key that we can relock after picking it. Let's go listen to a chat. Yorick tells me the hammers are gonna close down Pragma. Yeah, he's tapping you. Where are they gonna put the poor saps they grab? Dunno. Awesome men do well, well or something. Oh, they just don't have enough guys no more. Kind of sad. Used to be the power. Now yeah, they're just a bunch of guys wishing for the old days. An interesting bit of trivia. The guy who voices Garrett is the same guy who voices the stereotypical drunk guard, Benny. He also appears in Skyrim, which I've been playing <coughs> in some of my off time. As, no surprise, the leader of the Thieves Guild. Thought I saw some. Now, we want the key that the guy behind the front door has, but we have to time our movements just so that we can get it without alerting him. <coughs> well, that was pretty easy. Obviously, we'll have to put that key back later on, but not right now. We need it.
this floor is gravel and people will hear us if we make noise on it. There are a couple of guards on the wall above us and there are three patrolling down here in the yard, I think. Or maybe it's five patrolling and two on the wall. I don't know, hard to say. Here's something to keep in mind though. I thought that guy was facing outward, but he's not. My memory isn't serving me very well. And apparently neither is my careful creep crawling across the gravel. Anyway, let's stay flush with the wall so he doesn't get a chance to spot us. Oops. Now there's more than enough room in most of these shadows to dodge any patrollers that might come our way. Oh yes. Very good, very good. Past the archer. Now we need to wait for this space to clear. We're gonna enter through the master bedroom, which is a place where we can find over half of the loot we need straight away. <coughs> He's past us. Let's move right along. Here's our first lock pick. That one was easy. Mines and flash bombs if you need them. We don't. We have no use for them whatsoever. And then that roof is noisy, but no one's around. This part can be tough, though. Garrett really hates to mantle sometimes. Let me make sure no one heard that. Good. No one's around. And we are in! There's all kinds of stuff in here. Let's get started. Our first piece of loot is this vase worth 100. Here in front of the fireplace, we have two bottles of wine, 50 each, two goblets, 25 each, and a plate, 50. That's a total of 300. Let's read this. Commissioner Dinavon, I note with displeasure that again, one of my tough boys has been taken to Crag's Cleft. May I remind you of the substantial donations I make to your office, such that I may pursue business unhindered by idle scrutiny? May I remind you as well of your predecessor's unfortunate end? The rivers are so treacherous this time of year. I trust that you will attend to this, and if the hammers are too difficult for your policemen, I trust as well that you will let me know. Ramirez. Put that back we can get it back on the stool. There we go. Perfect. Now, over here, in this chest is a copy of the red key we already have, so we'll leave, we'll leave it be. And right in front of it is what I think is the single hardest piece of loot to find in the game. Right here on the carpet, almost impossible to see, a ring. Worth 100 for a total of 400. Now, let's head into the fireplace. Why would we do such a thing, you ask? First of all, in the corner there's a diamond. Worth 100, total 500. And then, there's a switch! After we press that, as we move in, we find Ramirez's silver fire poker. Worth 700, and one of our objectives. As we continue in this area, we find nothing this way. Down this way, we find gasp holes in the wall of the guest rooms. It appears Ramirez is a peeping Tom. Here in this chest, we have a purse worth 100 for a total of 800. Now, we'll head back to the bedroom. Need to close the secret gate behind us. 
slip out of the fireplace without getting burned. That's not too hard. This is an empty closet. But through here, we find a bunch more loot in the bathroom. There are four golden candlesticks worth 50 each. That's a total of 1,000. There are two goblets, 15 each, total 1,030. There's a bottle of wine, 50, total 1,080. And then a tiara, 125, total 1,205. Shut that door so everything is as we found it. And now, we move into some patrolled areas where people will hear us if we jump around on tile floors, so it's time to start being careful, but with this one area, we're well over halfway to our loot objective. We're not quite halfway to the loot total for the mission, though, which is obviously our real goal. This door also needs to be lockpicked. Now we are, in this mission, one thing we have to deal with is guards on very long patrol routes. I want to snag a courtyard key from one of the patrollers who walks by here right now. But he doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. That might be him. I think it is. The red keys are called basement keys, and the white key that he has is a courtyard key, which we don't have yet, which we will need. By the way, that's two out of nine pickpockets. Neither of our keys open this door, we have to lockpick it. It's the first door we had to switch picks for. Now inside this, let me make sure none of our, neither key works. Yeah, that's what I thought. Inside this room, we've got a vase on the fireplace worth 50, total 12.55. That's all there is there. Make sure no one's out here, and move on down the hall. Another door we need to lockpick. Oops. A little carried away with the Q key there. Again, let me make sure neither key works. That's correct. There's another vase on this fireplace, worth 100, total 1355. And on a table in here, there's a ring worth another hundred, total fourteen fifty-five. You'll note that we can't see Ramirez's peephole. It appears to be blocked by a painting, but this is the room that he could peek into were he so inclined. I think this chest is empty. Yes, it is. But there is a document on the table, which we'll read. Lord Ramirez, the reinforced walls and steel door have been duly installed about your counting room, but I must warn you that we cannot guarantee them against Burrick tunneling. If you do not move the creatures out of the basement into a more distant area, we cannot be held responsible for the potential damages. Toll, Camrick, and Sons. I hear someone walking outside. I think it's a guard with a third key. Nope, he doesn't have a key. Too bad I was hoping it was him. <clears throat> a guard with the third key does patrol- uh oh. Somewhere around here. I know he hits this area eventually. easy to hear lots of patrollers. There's the front door, the guard we saw there earlier. Back up a little bit so we can't get spotted from down below. Now here we've got another problem. 
Down that hall are two servants who will leave after they have a conversation with each other, but they'll see us if we head out into the hallway. Well, maybe not. Straight through the bright lights, not even a first alert. How do you like that? All that's in here is a speed potion in a chest you'd have to lockpick, which doesn't interest us. Now out here is another hallway, which leads more directly to the servants, although they're now on our left. But I think we're close enough to get them to leave without getting spotted. If we can just lean out. Well, no. Peaceful, isn't it? Enjoy it while it lasts, friend. His fatness will be back soon to make our lives miserable again. Where is he then? I haven't seen him tonight. Down in the cellar again, counting his loot. I hope he stays down there all night. With those two gone, we'll follow them. At least to where they split. Because he's got a key we need. I hear you. <coughs> well, I don't want to trigger that conversation just yet. Peaceful, isn't it? There we go. Enjoy it while it lasts, friend. His fatness will be back soon to make our lives miserable again. Where is he then? I haven't seen him tonight. Down in the cellar again, counting his loot. I hope he stays down there all night. I'd like to bag that key before he gets downstairs, if I can. Much better. head back here. We can close up that door. There's one more wandering key that I'd still like to find. I don't know if that guard has it or not. Let's check right quick. Huh. <laughs> Yes, that's it. Good. Now because two of those keys are copies, I'm going to leave them on the patrol routes. And now we can head into the library. All is well. This is another room we can make noise in, by the way. Nobody can hear us in here. Now that those servants are gone, I should say, and the door is closed, no one can hear us in here. We head upstairs, we find some documents and two gold candlesticks. Worth 50 each, we're up to 1555. Master Ramirez, I beg your attention. While, as you say, there is most certainly breach in the Drekboon pit, my subordinates inform me that this is due to the encroach of hammer patrols among the patrons, and that my immediate Drekboon comptroller, Ginny, has been unable to deal with the problem. Should this qualify as full breach, I must regretfully insist that the breach is on Ginny's part and not mine. I am, of course, happy to furnish all ledgers for verification, Lord Bafford. Master Vrindy, recall our previous conversation about untapped sources? Can you find any precedent on going into the walled section of the old quarter? There's all that crap about walking evil, but you know how the hammers are. Ten to one gets there's all sorts of free pro uh, all sorts of property, no known heir, free for picking without even having to pay guilt for lawful overlook. 
Anyhow, no rush on this one. Better to look into it on the quiet rather than rile the hammers or let Raputo or Webster hear about it. Ramirez. <clears throat> Now over here, in this corner, is a chest we have to lockpick. Has a ring worth a hundred. We're up to sixteen fifty-five. One other thing in the library. We're not going to be using it right now. But there is a secret passage down to the first floor. Where is that book? If you hit that book, that bookshelf opens, and you can get downstairs. But there's no need for us to do that. Time to get back into sneak mode. We head into this room. There's a lot of loot in here, too. We've got five got purple goblets, two gold goblets, a plate, and two bottles of wine. That's a total of ten pieces of loot. Let's just grab it all. Which brings us up to 1930. We are a mere 70 loot away from tagging our objective already. I hear a patroller somewhere nearby, but... Don't know where. There he is. Now, as you know, Supreme Ghost requires that we relock any doors which are relockable. Nothing we've picked so far is relockable, so we don't need to worry about it. But that will change soon enough. <coughs> this is where we're going to make our descent. Is this one relockable? No. We've got four out of nine pickpockets. We've returned the keys we're able to return. Now, as we move down here, we should hear another chat. Now we need to wait here just a bit for that first guard to get past. Huh? Oops. We need to wait until he opens the door in front of him to grab his key. Otherwise he can't walk, which is actually kind of funny. So obviously, we can relock these doors. That's important to note. I think if we wait just a minute, yes, the other guard comes, we can get his key too. He has the same problem. He'll get stuck if we take his key too early, so we'll nab it when he's on his way through the door. And because we've got two identical keys, we can go ahead and drop one on the patrol route. We've got six out of nine pickpockets. Supreme Ghost is intact. I'm going to do a real save right now. Now I think that this door which we picked is relockable with this key. 
Yes, very good. Now we'll head into the room where they were talking. Now that they're gone, I don't think they come back. This ladder takes us through that secret passage to the library that I was talking about earlier. Now as we head in here, we find several stacks of gold coins. Six total. Our new total is 2,080. And there's another one in the chest. Oh no, that's a flash bomb. Oh, I could have sworn that was another gold coin stack. Guess I was wrong. There's another coin stack somewhere. It must be this chest. Yes, very good. Our total's 2,105, which is enough for our loot objective. We're missing 600 loot, and we need to get Ramirez's purse, which is part of that. Let's read this. Boys, while I appreciate your enthusiasm, I must point out that breaking legs is really rather inefficient if we wish our clients to be able to pursue their rather active lives in order to immediately repay their debts. I encourage your initiative in this area. Perhaps you might take a lesson from the gardener and his hedge clippers who trims off one branch while leaving the rest to grow. And most of our clients do start with fingers to spare. Well, my goodness. We go through here, we go across the hall. We've got a goblet and a wine bottle. New total 2180. Through here. We find a necklace, total 2380. Unlock the door, lock it behind us. Now, here's the main entrance. <coughs> I need that guard to face away. And I need to hope that no patrollers show up before he turns. <coughs> What's going on? Hey! Oh, crud! All right. Okay, let's try again. <clears throat> if we just wait till we see What's his going on over there. Oh. Moved too soon! If we just wait until we see his sword, we'll know he's facing the front door. Oops. Boy, I am failing at something fairly simple today. I haven't really caffeinated yet, maybe that's why. Here we go, that's much better. I always do a real save after I accomplish something that's given me trouble, no matter why. Two of them come through this door. If we hide to the side, I think they can pass us with no problems. Now we'll head out to the garden. All that's out here is a scroll for us to read. Mina, dear, it's not as bad as it seems. The sir isn't so harsh if you learn his habits. When he's upstairs like the library, cosset him with tea and cakes and chat at the household doings. 
When he's in the cellar with his gold, though, don't dare bother him lest he rings for you, and then hop to it like the tricksters on your tail. Liss. Or Lissy. I don't know. Alright, that's it for the garden. Head back to this lovely, lovely, perfect shadow. Keep an eye on him. Let's move this way. Now, get ready for something exciting. Well, not quite yet. Let's hear another chat first. Oops. I wonder if I already triggered their chat by mistake. Must have. Those two guys have a conversation about how... Lever, then the missus gets chopped to bits. <laughs> Who's been here? This isn't right. <laughs> the two of them are talking about Hammerite security devices. I want to hear it. I'm sure you do too. There we go. Now through here is some excitement. <coughs> this is a room with six guards in it. Yes, six. We can move in here. It's dark and most of them are facing away from us. The two guys from the beginning are over there in the corner, along with four more standard mansion guards. <laughs> He's got our seventh pickpocket, which is the only thing we need here, but we need to, to the best of our ability, return that key. Let's watch everyone attack us just for fun. <laughs> Who's there? Let's see if we can drop this in this room. I sure hope so. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, as long as we move slowly, we should be able to get through the next to the next room without alerting any of these clowns. Ah, so wet. Mold everywhere down here. <coughs> Don't let Frank go. <coughs> I don't want this place in the Another conversation here. Is someone there? Oh, dang it. <coughs> On that table, we can find a another courtyard key, which we don't need. We had it! And I screwed it up. 
Anyway, I don't know how we missed this. It must have played before we got in here. These two have a conversation about how evil the old quarter is. Much like the scroll in the library, there are illusions that we're going to have to go into the walled section of the old quarter where all sorts of evil is about. Anyway, let's do a real save right quick before we head into the basement. Cross this room and head into the kitchen. You see the servant here. He has another copy of the basement key. Now that Ramirez just rang for him, we can follow him downstairs. <clears throat> we can follow him all the way to Ramirez. There's nothing in the kitchen unless you're interested in collecting food, which is worthless. I'm trying to remember the exact conversation. I think the woman says, you ever go down by, you know, the barricades? And the male servant says, not a chance. I can't remember I can't remember what the woman says, something like the dead walk there. And the man says, I hear there's another moon, one that takes all the light. The woman says, you won't catch me down that way. The man says, not me neither. And so it should be obvious we can get through this door with the basement key. We'll just wait right here for the servant to pass by, returning to the kitchen. Ah! Nab that. Drop it on his patrol route. Now it's time to hit Ramirez's counting room. If we hide in this corner, we're completely safe while we're in here. Tackling this room is complicated, so it's worth a real save. Maybe I should send some muscle after the stone group. I think the taxes will get covered from the fund. The best link broken. Water and moss arrows for the interested. The best place to wait for him to be parked is looking at his bell for more food. Okay. First things first, let's Maybe move up here. Where is it? I think the taxes will get covered from the fund. Need to get Joff's leg broken. Can't defy me like that. There it is. This blue key is the master key. It opens both chests. This chest 
just has a papyrus which will read and we can't actually put it back in the box but supreme stays stays intact if we put it in the nearest logical place so Raputo, Warden of North Quarter, Shalebridge, New Market, New Quarter, Blood Sports, Money Lending, Spy Watching, Organization of about 20 subsidiaries, 50 personal tough boys and fire boys, Contact with Sheminovs, Webster, Warden of Docks, Eastport, Dayport, Rooftop Breakers, Protection and Anti-Protection Services, Smuggling, Coin Faking, 12 subsidiaries, 60 tough boys, 20 odd solo contractors, Strong Foreign Contacts, Victoria, Independent fence, previously Raputo's. Dominates include thief spawnage of exotics medicinals. No known organization. Contact with second tier nobility, grand library, and order of the vine. May have warden aspirations. Dorcas Goodfellow, Blackbrook Underguild ambassador. Particular importable dominates include magical constructs, medicinals, and elemental crystals. We'll drop that on top of the box. Relock the box. Oops. Shut the box. Relock the box. Next, get some coins out of the other box. Close and relock it. The last thing we need to do is return the master key. Easily done so long as Ramirez is over by his bell. Next we'll look at... Oops. Next we'll read that book he's staring at. Willoughby Bright, Stone Market Cut Purse, skimping on Gelt for the fifth time, not worth the trouble, public bounty of 200. Garrett, South Quarter Independent Thief, denied cut three times, sent Quince and Jack Al out to shorten him. Overlord's Fancy, Gambling Den, check with Raputo, is it his? Either way, someone's not talking to someone they should. Hmm. Would have sworn I saw Oops. Ramirez didn't kill me there. That was your first glimpse of a famous dark engine glitch called an NPC jump. If you lean the right way around a person, you can somehow manipulate Garrett's momentum so he gets flung into the wall with such force that he died as if I had fallen off a cliff. We'll wait for the servant to leave. All I want is to read the book and get back to the shadow with Supreme intact. There we go. <clears throat> now over there are two more coins we need. 25 each. Total 24.55. Then the last thing we need to do is grab Ramirez's purse. 20 it may be time for me to move along now. Don't want to wear out my welcome. Anyway, 2705 is all the loot. Ramirez's purse was the ninth pickpocket. All that's left to do is get out of the mansion without killing anyone. We need, to, of course, to return our three keys on our way out. Not quite like that, though. This key goes in the foyer. This one can just go anywhere on the patrol route downstairs. This one needs to go on the patrol route upstairs. If you turn right out of here instead of left. You'll find another staircase up out of the basement. which your court card yard key can open and relock.
This is a storage room key door. Alright. Now this could get dicey. I'm gonna go return the basement key first. You will note, the new guard, he, I believe, doesn't turn. I think he's parked facing the front door, so we just need to wait for the guy in green to turn around. And we'll go drop the basement key at his feet. I'd really like it if you'd turn, buddy. Excellent. I can lock that door behind us. Let's go unlock the top door. Well, no, we can't go out that way, can we? Because we have to return the storage room key to keep Supreme Thief alive. Okay, we'll just have to take an alternate route to the second floor. We'll leave our storage room key here. Well... I guess we'll take the secret passage out. I don't like this, though, because there's no way to close it behind us. Nah, there's a way to do this. There it is. I just need to think a little bit. The other side of this door is still a viable place to drop the storage room key because it was on the patrol route. So, we'll drop it here. Ah, yes, the stairway. Excellent. Now, anywhere up here is a fine place to drop the courtyard key, because it's on the guard's patrol route. We've returned all the keys. As we move back into the library, we've returned all the keys, we've locked all the doors behind us, we have all the loot, everything is as it was. Except, a few doors that we can't relock, which the Supreme Rules still allow for. We can pick the lock here on the library door. We can't relock it, which is a shame. There's one thing left to do. We just dive into the waterway, we can swim out. We should be able to do it without alerting anyone. And there you have it! Assassins! Perfect Supreme Thief! Success! One thing that can happen at the end of this mission, if you screw up and an alarm sounds, Ramirez will have his goons hunting for you, and you'll have to navigate through the city again, with a this time stocked with a bunch of hostile guards until you get to home turf. But, if you manage to get in and out of Ramirez's mansion completely undetected, you don't have to do that. And we succeeded. Let's look at our stats. That took 41 minutes and 12 seconds. We found 2,705 loot out of 2,705. 
We picked nine out of nine pockets. We picked seven locks. No backstabs, no knockouts, no damage dealt or taken, no healing taken, nothing and nobody killed. The campaign so far, we've gone 16 hours, 2 minutes, 22 seconds. We found 83.22 loot. We haven't dealt any damage since the training mission. We have still received zero damage. And for this mission, like I said, we successfully accomplished Perfect Supreme Thief. So that went very well. That was very easy. I won't lie to you. The Thieves Guild is next. That makes me anxious. That one's tough. But we'll tackle it. I'll see you there probably tomorrow after this one uploads. Bye-bye.